Alright people, this is Brad the Lab back again with another video and today I'm going to do a couple of videos. One of them is a bit of a surprise on relating the FA Cup. Now, um, I'm going to be talking about mental health again today in part of maybe my anxiety journey. So, um, it's been an interesting uh, you know, week. Obviously tomorrow I'm back at college and Mondays, as you all know, I don't particularly enjoy. There's some other problems, but um, you know that uh, you know. But I'd rather not reveal them at this time. Um, so um, I think, you know, to be honest, I think sometimes at the end of the holiday, you know, when you've had a lovely break, and then you just feel a bit deflated. You, you begin to start worrying again because you know you've got to go back and it's another like six weeks before the next holiday before you can relax before you can mentally have a break again and it's just like having that same bad feeling you know on repeat like a broken record and there's nothing you can do about it and um my timetable is going to change as well i think so i might not be able i'm not too sure whether i'll be able to do phil neville shows anymore on a wednesday I'll, i'd love to i'll see what i can do but, um, you know, that depends whether I'm in all day or half day, whatever. I think I'll still try to do them on Wednesdays. But on Thursday and Friday, they're going to be my new days off, um, as far as I'm concerned. So, yeah, um, you know, I'm trying to, like, relax. I'm really, really tired. I haven't had much sleep. I've, I've been having a lot on my mind at the moment. So, um, <laughs> if I'm a bit low-key... You know that's that's probably why because I'm a bit tired. I'm I'm really really tired. Um, so yeah, I've been worrying a lot, thinking a lot of bad things going to happen, and a lot of the time I think about a lot of different aspects of life. I'm like, um, you know, because a lot of the time I say, oh, I'd like to get myself a girlfriend or something like that. I'm like, what if what if it's in my forties? What if it's in my fifties and I can't. You know, till I find someone, and you know, I mean, I'm not trying to be arrogant or anything, but you know, I don't think I'm. Um, uh, I think I'm quite good looking, you know, and uh, you know, and I think that's the only thing that keeps me going, in a way. And I think, you know, I'm like, oh, um, can I have I found somebody yet? Oh, have I found somebody yet? Oh, um, you know, I start getting daft ideas and, you know, try not to make myself look crazy. You can come it on that box there. So, you know, sometimes I try and uh, I look on the internet and I see what I can do. You know, look for tips, I look for advice. You know, not from not from certain people. I don't actually message people, but I like look and say, oh, how do you do this? Or how do you do that? Um, you know, just to help myself improve as a person. And I think, you know, this week in the FA Cup, we've been uh, kicking off a minute late um, to think about our mental health, um, which is massively important. Um, every single game is kicking off at, um, either like, I don't know, um, so for example, Man United's game would have kicked off at 5.30 usually, but it kicked off at 5.31. And they all had a picture and they lifted something up called uh, the Heads Up. Um, so I think that's fantastic that they're trying to help people with uh, mental health issues and yeah um i'm trying to stay calm i've walked the dog today um with my little sister which was nice um which was good uh i i enjoyed it it was really muddy but um you know it was nice to get some fresh air going into the park and walking little rigby the dog and i think my mind is always negative at this point in time I'm always like, what, what, what's going to go wrong? But, um, you know, I'm thinking like, well, you've seen all your friends tomorrow. Um, you might be playing football again tomorrow. Well, hopefully. Um, and um, my sister finishes at 3 and I finish at 2.45. And they have to get her first, obviously, because it's closest to home. And then they come and get me. And then I'm, like, and then I'm thinking, what if something happens to them? And I think it's only me that's been taken to college because my brother walks. I don't think my sister's going. Um, she's supposed to be in, but I think she's got something going on, like an appointment or something. So, yeah, um, 
you know, and, and sometimes I think like, oh, what what if something happens to to mum, uh, to mum, mum or dad, or what if something happens, you know, and they can't come get me or something like that. And um, it makes me fear, it makes me dread a lot of things. And I think especially since it's the last day before we go back, you know, I was waiting so long for the holidays to come and it, took, it felt like forever. And uh, the holidays just went like that. And, you know, that that's like a big blow. I, know, like, I got told it was going to fly. <laughs> I'm saying, oh, I hope not. But it did fly. And... Um, you know, because, you know, I was having so much fun. Um, what my counsellor told me to do is, like, distract myself. I haven't really got the energy to distract myself, to be honest. Um, could play a bit of FIFA. I'm watching the Liverpool-Everton FA Cup tie right now. I'll just put it on mute in case of, you know, copyright. on, And just so I can concentrate on this video. So, yeah, guys. Um, you know, uh, that's going to be the end of the video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. And I shall see you all soon. Goodbye.